Yeah, my brother was making music since young. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he really was rapping with Cash Money. Like, I think, I don't want to lie, but I think, like, this shit, it's like he like 14 on this shit, probably. Or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lie, but I'm thinking, like, around that age. You know what I'm saying? It probably was. 14, 16. Yeah. I don't know. No later than 16. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, because he was 12 years old, slugged up and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I'm saying? It's a little fast. But, yeah, and, uh, you know, that's my mama's brother. Birdman's my mama's brother. The owner of the cash, money records, they got, they share the same father. But uh, you know, I'm from I'm from New Orleans, you know what I mean? I was raised uptown in the um in third wall on 24, 23 South Street. I know the address so vivid. But it's kinda crazy though because like my shit kinda split between the house so I didn't even know I'm from New Orleans because I was, you know, Katrina baby, you know what I'm saying? Oh five, I was in B off. So she it was almost like it for long as it was having house because I spent ten years in New Orleans and the rest fourteen years in BR, you know what I'm saying? But the thing that make the difference of it because most of my adult years was in BR. So like, you know, to me that kind of if you gonna go out where you from type of shit, that would determine where you're from. Like, you know, we you had your first fist fight, you know, okay. your first when you first started getting money that bitches like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But I'm from New Orleans though, you know what I'm saying? I was raised on twenty four, twenty three percent street. Okay. And uh shit, like, you know, growing up, like I said, man, like this it was norm, like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, it was, sure. it was fucking norm, like you know what I'm saying. Like, like people be asking, like, damn, how it was, you know what I'm saying? Baby, your uncle, and you know, Derek, your brother, you know what I'm saying. Shit like that, that shit was normal to me. Like it didn't really make too much of a difference. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, like I remember shit with my brother and baby, like you know what I'm saying. Either my brother was 14 years apart. You know what I'm saying. We got killed. He was 21. Mm. You know what I'm saying. I was seven when he got killed. And yeah, you know, he died on Halloween. So tell me a little bit about that story. Just, uh, you know, for people who don't know, just give them a little brief synopsis about your brother and his story. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, my brother was, um, he was originally a hot boy. He was originally a hot boy known as, you know what I'm saying? He, he was young. Like, he was young rapping, like, young. That's what kind of up. You know, he died at 21. I'm 24. You know what I'm saying? Nigga's still young, you know what I'm saying? So, and it made me think, like, that mean he was really escalating at a fast pace because like the songs that you hear him on, like on the, he on a lot of cash money songs, you know what I'm saying? But you wouldn't recognize it was him. And then like, you know, on the track list and shit, his name on that. Or you might say bulletproof or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't recognize that as him because a lot of people get him in Turk confused like for his vocals. But <clears throat> anyway, uh, yeah, my brother was making music since young. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he really was rapping with cash money. Like, I think, I don't want to lie, but I think like this shit it's like he like 14 on this shit probably or some shit like that you know what i'm saying i don't want to lie but i'm thinking like around that age you know what i'm saying it probably was 14 16. Yeah. i don't know no later than 16. yeah you know what i'm saying so i mean because he was 12 years old slugged up and shit like you know what i'm saying like like you know what i'm saying it's a little fast but yeah and uh you know that's my mama's brother birdman's my mama's brother the owner of the cash money records they got they share the same father you know what i'm saying yeah. and um but yeah he was a uh, original hot boy you know what i'm saying and uh you know he did his own thing and like he he had a whole impact on the whole New Orleans, like heavy. But I ain't even say just New Orleans no more, cause like now as I'm growing, I'm still seeing like shit. People from all the world, motherfuckers, DM me every day, like, oh, I'm all the way in fucking Arkansas, got this shit. Talking about he in Canada and shit. I'm like, that's crazy because like it just me looking like back then, me just looking at like that's just my brother, nigga. I just hit shit on the radio, and be like, oh man, turn that shit off, man. <laughs> real talk, like real talk, man. Like they just play, well, let me turn that shit off, man. You know what I'm saying? But. You know, for, I ain't realize like my brother started as some celebrities, what the you gonna say it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Until like I got older. And then like, and don't get me wrong, like even with this music and shit, like, I, now I rock with the music, like I f with it. But then I ain't know what the f he was talking about. Like I I, know, I knew the words because everybody in my family's playing, everybody was playing it. That's my brother, I'm rapping this shit. I don't know what the f he's saying, yeah. what the fuck it mean, but you know what I'm saying? But as I got older, I'm like, this nigga really was cold. Like real talk. Cause like one of my partners asked me was in the street, like, damn, bro, you cold. What's the move? He said, man, keep it G, bro. Who you think would have smoked on the track if you and your brothers on that bitch? I'm like, me, dog. But like, but as I'm listening to this shit, I'm like, 
man, over here saying some shit. Like, cause it's real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just at the time I wasn't going through that shit. But as I got older, you know, made choices of my own, I started going through that shit. I'm like, I felt that shit. You know what I'm saying? Wait, man, what you ask me? I'm tripping. I'm all off topic. I no, I was just really asking you about the story of your brother. So you was basically, oh, right, you know, right. yeah, so you still on topic. Right, so right. how'd your mom feel about the music career? Tell me a little bit about how your mom felt about, you know, the um, rap. Shit, like at first, man, like, uh, well, my angle, like, mama, she, she a supporter of anything I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I said I was going to be the president, like, she was going to take that shit and run with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, originally, I don't think she... Expect that out of me, like she didn't even like know it because like back in the gap, like I was you know more quiet in my shell type shit. I ain't like it was till after my brother died that I really became like a more open person. But, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, no, nah, she probably didn't see me rapping. But when I when she did, like, and my mama real, I'm I'm keep G like, like even though like I said she'll support me or anything, but if it was something like I'm gonna, like that shit trash, but I'm still gonna support you because you're my son. I love you and I believe you. But but like she really fucked with my music, like man, for the longest I swear like like everything I put out before I put it out. <laughs> my mama got to hear that, shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, last like, night, tell me what you think. She's like, oh, you gotta use a lot of cursing, but you know. <laughs> but like, yeah, she's she supported to the fullest, though, you know what I'm saying? Because she she wants, like, it's us, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all it was, me, my mama, and my brother, you know what I'm saying? So that's us. That's that run, that's run through us, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? So she wanted me to live that shit out. Like, my, that was my, that's my brother's dream, too. Like, you know what I'm saying? So tell me a little bit more about y'all growing up in the household, you know, you Oh, my brother. Yeah. Like, like I said, we was 14 years apart, but my mama made sure she went above and out her way to keep their relationship close because of the age gap. Like, you know what I'm saying? She ain't never wanted to be like, I didn't know my brother because he was 14 years older than me. Right, right. And then, like, you know, our family, like, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, the, you know what I'm saying? Wouldn't the Brady Bunch and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know you watching pretty much, but I know that's like, you know what I'm saying, a close ass like <laughs> family. But it wasn't always that. So she tried to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, me and my brother had a good relationship though, bro. Like, I remember vivid, I remember vividly. Like, it, it amazed me sometimes because like I be realizing, I'm like, damn, I was only seven when my brother got killed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So some shit I remember just kind of amazed me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, it was plenty of times like he he went he went above me and make sure he spent time with me too. Like I can't stand like show me all this shit. Like, I was like, I was a nerd. I'm gonna say it, I was a nerd. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, under the books hard and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was seven, I like, you know, pronounce her word. Like, you know I back in the gap when they say, when they say, oh, you acting white. That's 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 what I was back in the gap, you hear me? Like, that's what it was. So, like, he, he used to love that shit, though, you hear me? Because he'd be like, he used to tell me say certain words in front of his partners and shit like that, you know, Joseph and shit like that. But, uh, man, like, I just take type of he would, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be saying this story, but it's shit funny, though. So, like, Man, one time this take me out of school, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I ain't no father taking out of school. I just, you know, I'm taking out of school. I'm hanging with my brother. Nigga, you hear me? Like, you want some McDonald's? Like, you know, nigga love McDonald's with the little toys. And shit. So, you know, we did that. Nigga around here, he said, all right, brother, look, I'm finna take you to court with me. And he said, they might try to take me to jail. So, like, if the judge said he's finna take me to jail, I need you to hurry and run up there, get on your knees and say, please, please don't take my brother to jail. I was like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, like, I ain't gonna. I'm like, all right, I guess. So shit, we get to the court, we get to the courthouse. Like, um, no, they, I, I think they just dismissed whatever case it was. I don't know what's going on. I was just sitting there lost as a bitch. But whatever it was, they probably dismissed it or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, we walking out. Nigga, we see my mama. <laughs> she coming. I don't know. What, I think that woman was going. I don't know. She was downtown for something. I don't know what the fuck she was done that for. And she saw it. She was like, why, why you got my baby out of school? <laughs> But it was funny though, you know what I'm saying? Cause like my mom already put it together like, nah, I know this shit didn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit like that was crazy, bro. Like, like he, he was he was he was funny, right? Like, he was a funny. Shit. He, he was a funny shit, man. But uh <laughs> but, so how, how did things go when he started actually making music with cash money? How did that change, you know, his life and just how things changed around y'all as a household? <laughs> I mean, how it changed, y'all really wouldn't know because like mind you. I still ain't really know what the fuck's going on. I'm seven, like, four is on that, on that part. And she's on the household. Shit, that shit ain't making a difference. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think, like, but, like, just me being, like, just, like, kind of, like, folk music shit, I could only imagine, like, by me re-listening to his music shit, I could only imagine, like, it made that nigga feel good. You know what I'm saying? Because he, like, I'm off a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you idolize it, uh, baby, for sure. Like, like a motherfucker. I know that for sure. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I know that probably put him in like a good space doing music, but I mean, it really didn't make much difference in the household though, because, um, <laughs> so what's, what's it like being related to baby though? Uh, just like I said, man.